Hey guys, this is Jonathan from Total Bro Hammer. Today I'll be bringing you the first round of a best of three in Shetland Apache's King's Cup tournament. All right, so in this tournament, you stay the same faction throughout the entire tournament. So for this tournament, I chose the Dark Elves, being that they're one of the strongest factions up there with Lizardmen and Skaven. So my opponent in round one will be a Dawi, ab not a Dawi abuser, and he will be bringing Chaos. So I'm going to show y'all all the matches for each round in one video, just for a sense of coherency and uh, expediency, because they're in total I think I've played about 16 matches throughout the day, and I want to show them all to y'all. So uh, I'm going to try to yeah do it by rounds. All right, so let's go over army compositions. So I have brought Malekith on Seraphon here. I have one, two. Three Dread Spears in the front line, two Hargoneth Executioners, two Black Guard Nagaron, one Witch Elf, and two Dark Riders with repeated crossbows, as well as some Cold One Knights. And for my opponent, he has, let's see, Chaos Marauder, Forsaken, one, two, three, four Chaos Warriors with great weapons, and another Forsaken and Chaos Marauder on the side here. He's got two Hounds, and they're are both the regular version, no poison. He's also got two Shagus, Dragon Ogre Shagus, and Sartharel the Ever Watcher. So let's kick it into he gear here. So I start out in the forest in case he decided he wanted to bring some uh, hill cannons. So he's just gonna come over and do some scouting with these Chaos Warhounds. And seeing no range, I'm just gonna push up with Seraphon here. And see if I can get some uh, gaze of malice off on these lightly armored troops. So, he's just in here poking around, seeing what he can see, trying to get a feel for what my army is. I'm going to try to stay in the forest because large units get a debuff in the forest. Alright, so he's just approaching me. And I'm going to move up to the edge of the forest here. Alright, so the first thing he's going to do, he's going to send these two Shagas in, along with Sartharel, the Everwatcher. Or he's not, actually he's going to send his front line in first. <laughs> I played these battles a couple days ago, so I don't quite remember. I'm going to just send charges through the front line, let the spearmen take the charges. And he's sending these hounds around my flank, which is a really good play on him. I have my... Dark Riders with repeated crossbows over here, but they're going to get zoned out by the hounds and these units over here. So he's got the he, all his three large units right here, so immediately I'm going to send the Witch Elf to try to pin him down. Let's see, I'm going to get Dragon Breath on these guys, and that's going to do a pretty good amount of damage. I think the tree blocks them. I'm gonna, just trying to get these Witch Elves on these guys, because I really want to take them down. So to draw them in, I'm going to drop Malkith right here in the middle of all, all these Witch Elves, in hopes that... Uh, They'll come in here and the Witch Elves will be able to get them, but as you can see, they lost their aggro again, and you tend to do that a lot in this game. I also draw a Soul Sealer so I can regain my health while they're hitting on me, because I know I'm going to take quite a bit of damage here. But uh, as you can see, the Witch Elves aren't actually getting hit, but we did destroy the Chaos Warriors with great weapons, since Forsaken did get run off too. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to protect these Dark Riders, really. Or rather, I do, I just forgot about them. So guys... Uh, I may be playing in a tournament, but I do not claim to be good at this game. I'm just doing this for fun to see how far I can get go. So my Hargoneth Executioners are fighting these Chaos Marauders right here. That'll be a good win for them. And this guy is is uh, is taunted, but for some reason he's running off in this direction and going after these Dread Spears. So that's unfortunate for me. So I'm pulling out these Black Guard and Nagarond and these Witch Elves. I'm just going to let my Dread Spears take these Chaos Warriors with great weapon. And I tried to run off these hounds with Malkith, but I realized these guys are lost cause already. Because I should have kept them near my Coldwind Riders, and I really should not have forgotten my Coldwind Riders. So we're just going to get these Blackguard and Nagaron and these Witch Elves to go wherever this little squad of death goes. And the thing is, I've got a lot of anti large in my army. Like, a lot. So it's not going to be great for him. So I was able to get one pair of Dark Riders away, and as you can see, I'm coming in with my anti-large armor-piercing Cold One Knights, anti-large Dread Spears, anti-large armor-piercing Blackguard and Nagron, and the Witch Elves. If I can pin 
any one of these guys down, I have so much over here that it's going to absolutely wreck them. Looks like he drops a Plague of Rust on one of my guys here. And I'm going to jump in here with Malchus again to try to draw him into these Witch Elves. If these Witch Elves can just hit one of these guys, then I'll be golden. As you can see, I'm losing over here, but these Black Art, these uh, Harganeth Executioners, rather, are putting up a great fight. And honestly, they might be able to take both these guys just because they have such jack stats. I drop a, uh, I believe the, that's not the chill one. I forget what this spell is called, but <laughs> I use it all the time. But I got uh, Malkith fighting Sartharel over here, and Malkith will be able to kick Sartharel's ass. No, no chance. Sartharel is a. Uh, He's a decent melee combatant, but he's not meant for fighting armored things unless you use the Plague of Rust. And he just used it on a Blackguard of Negron, so he doesn't have it right now. So we routed off one Dragon Ogre, and I tried to send these Cold One Knights after him, but they get caught up on these routing Chaos Wars of Great Weapons and lose aggro. So at this point, my opponent sees that I've just got this big ball of death right here. He's. Sartharel is about to get pinned by these Witch Elves, and he just concedes from there. Alright, so you can, as you can see, Malkit did pretty good. The Spearmen, they did really great. Not getting kills, but just holding the line. And against units like Forsaken, which they should melt like instantly again, they held pretty well. As you can see, my Harganath Executioners did very well, as well as my Blackguard and Nagron. Really mismicroed my Cold One nice, and because I forgot about them, I lost my Dark Riders with the Peter Crossbows, so that's really unfortunate for me. Honestly, as far as Micro goes, and just being playing the game correctly I think he beat me in that the thing is and the thing I really want to show throughout this tournament is the fat the balance in this game is really really bad my units with that uh, are just so much better than his it's ridiculous and that's the thing about the dark elves everything they have is super cost effective it's, it's insane guys but let's uh let's move on to the second game here these guys are pretty good, and the rest of his army pretty much got destroyed. Alright, so, round one, game two. Let's watch it. Alright, we can go over the army compositions here. I got Malekith, three Dread Spears, two Witch Elves, two uh, Hogan Executioners, two Blackguard and Agron, and two Cold One Knights. And for my opponent, he's brought a similar front line. Yeah, he's brought the exact same front line of four Chaos Warriors, a Great Weapon, two Forsaken, and two Chaos Marauders. He changed his formation a little bit, putting these Chaos Marauders up front to throw the charge. I like that. He's also got a Hell Cannon this time, and you can see he's going to do some manual aiming. And though it probably wasn't the best map for it, he probably should have deployed a little bit further back, because look how close we are already. He's still going to get some pretty good damage out really fast. So, he's also got some Chaos Warhounds and some Chaos Warhounds with Poison. Uh, some Marauder Horseman with Throwing Axes, a Chaos Sorcerer of Death on a Manicore, and a Chaos Lord on a Chaos Dragon. Alright, so let's start it up here. So, first thing I'm going to do is get in, seeing that he has a skirmish advantage with this Hail Cannon and these Marauder Horsemen. Also to note, I brought uh, Malekith on a Cold One this time instead of on his Dragon. And expecting that maybe he would go in the air, and it turned out he did, so that was that was a safe bet. So I'm going to just advance immediately, and he got, I believe, a manual aimed shot on these guys, took about 25% health off, and I think that was a uh, it was not manual aimed, and he did good there. So I'm going to use uh, Power of Darkness to get some magic back, because it's pretty low on Malkith right now. I'm going to have these guys in the back and keep them away from them. I don't want them to get rampaged by getting shot by these guys, because they'll never catch them. I'm going to throw a charge in here with these, into these Forsaken, because they do not go, do good against cavalry or ar heavily armored units. So we did a Dragon Breath on these Harganeth Executioners. As you can see, he's done pretty good damage to my front line before we even met, so that's really good on him. going to run into these Forsaken, like I said, and do a lot of damage. And he's going to get his Chaos Lord and this Chaos Sorcerer of Death over here to to respond. But he's going to get... I'm going to pull them straight into my spears and witch elves, and then I'm going to re-engage with these guys, because they are anti-large and armor piercing. So we just have a uh, charge along the front line. I charge into these Forsaken, I believe. Or I tried to get around them, and they got caught on them. But these hounds are get sent over here, and I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll fight those hounds. These guys are anti-large. I do believe hounds count as large. So these guys pull through their lines to get out, which is a really good call. 
But uh, these Forsaken in Chaos Warriors great weapons aren't going to last too long. And look how much damage he's doing with his Hell Cannon. He's not annual aiming that, but is doing a ton of damage. It just destroyed these Blackguard and Nagaron, that's for sure. And he comes in here after Malkith, but... But uh, I'm going to turn these Cold One Knights around and get him on him, and we're going to do quite a lot of damage on him. But as you can see, he waited until he routed off the Witch Elves, which was really smart on his part. But we are getting a ton of damage on this Chaos Sword on the Dragon. He's already down to half health, lower than half health, and the same thing with this Chaos Sorcerer of Death. So, as expected, these Forsaken have, are routing off these Dread Spears. But uh, these Black Iron and Nagaron hold up fairly well against these Chaos Wars with great weapons. And we do have some Harganeth Executioners helping over here. So we did... We're, we were beating off these Hounds. I finally sent my Witch Elves to pin those Hounds down. And I tried to get these guys out, but the Throne Axes made them rampage. And what they're rampaging after, I have no idea. Uh, but anyway, with the Hounds gone, this flank is left completely open. Back over here, he keeps on sending in his... Chaos Lord against Malkith, which is a pretty good idea, but I got so much anti-large armor piercing over here. It's not great for him, though he did get a lot of damage on Malkith, so really good on him. And look at that, the Witch Elves are just walking through those Chaos Marauders. What the hell? In any case, I, my Cold One's nice. decide they finally want to rampage into something useful and get into these guys. And my Witch Elves do hit him once and uh, take him offline. So he tries to come and stop these Witch Elves over here with his Lord to keep his Hell Cannon online? Bad idea. I'm going to have the Cold One Knights pull through and Malkith come through. And uh, once this guy's Rampage, yeah, it's pretty much over. These Harganeth Executioners are just cleaning up everything over here. And in the center, these Harganeth Executioners and Blackguard and Nagron are just able to hold forever against these Chaos Warriors with great weapons and Forsaken. He does come in with a rear charge with the Marauder Horsemen and they're just going to break these two units. But uh, now that his lord has been caught by witch elves and his hell cannon is offline, there's not much he can do. Malchus is just in there putting a beating on the ass, and we won the infantry fight on this side so heavily that now we just outnumber him by a lot. So his chaos lord is routing off, he sends these hounds in, but they're just going to get rampaged as well. And uh, they're not going to do great against these cold one knights. They can do some good damage on the... On the Witch Elves, however, they are good at taking out lightly armored units. But the Witch Elves can, uh, can also do a lot of damage back. Alright, so there go the Shatters, and that's all for that one. Let's look at the uh, breakdown here. We got Malekith doing pretty good with 42 kills. He did a lot of damage to the Chaos Lord and Chaos Lord of Death. Uh, Cold One Knight performed really well. They didn't get a ton of kills, but again, they did a lot of damage on these guys. I really miss my road, my group on the right, but look at these guys. I got two Chevrons getting damage on their lords. Harganeth Executioners performed fantastically. Witch Elves did their job. I mean, such an important unit. I mean, I don't think, believe there's a matchup where they're not really useful. Again, the Dread Spears are just able to hold for a long time and really, really hold beyond their cost, honestly. These Blackguard and Agron got absolutely wrecked by that hell cannon though man it, <laughs> i think i missed a shot but there was a shot where it took them down to like half their health down because they were bunched up so he got some lucky hell cannon shots too and he uh, did some good manual aim shots as well but uh, the other group did fairly well as well so yeah look at that 99 kills on the hell cannon i'd say it paid for itself being that it was shooting at Hogarneth executioners and black garden uh he had some really good plays with the chaos lords he what I really love about what he did is he made sure to route off my Witch Elves, and then once they were gone, then he landed on them. However, my Cold One Knights are made for killing armored large units, and they were there to support Malekith, and with them there, they, they just weren't able to stand up to Malekith, because their, their combat stats aren't on the level of Malekith. And uh, I also really like that whenever he got into a bad situation, he would pull through his lines to escape with his mass. So really well played to my opponent, but the Dark Elf front, front line is just too strong. Alright guys, well, a good game to my opponent, not a Dolly Abuser. I beat him twice in a row, so the third game is void. There's no reason to play it. And I will move on to round two. So if you want to know how... Uh, the tournament ended and where I placed and who won and all that I will I'm gonna put a link to the scoreboard of that tournament and you can go look at that if you'd like to see that now 
Or you can wait until I cast all the videos and I'll tell you at the very end. But that's going to be all for this one, guys. This is Jonathan for Total Bro Hammer signing out.